Okay, so iOS 16 developer beta 1 has been out for one week as of the filming of today's video. Now, I wanted to come back and share with you guys my experience so far with the first beta, the first week, iOS 16 developer beta 1. You guys have been asking a few questions. How's the battery performance? Is there any crashes, app compatibility? I wanted to share all that in my experience. And also, I want to talk about the YouTube community poll because that's where you guys also provide some feedback on how the software has been working for you. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, I want to talk about my personal experience with the software the first week of running iOS 16 developer beta 1. Now, this is in no way complaining of running a beta on my primary device. This is what I do. I test beta software and I know that there will be bugs. So I'm aware of all this stuff, but I'm willing to take the risk. So here, let's talk about some of the first bugs I've noticed so far within iOS 16 developer beta one and now the first thing i want to talk about is messages now in messages i only even encounter one bug and this is a good thing right so only one bug and that bug is within the extension right here for sending audio messages sometimes when i try to send an audio message right here by holding to record i get this message right here cannot send audio message at this time now many users would think that this is because i'm trying to send it to an ios 15 device as some of you have mentioned on twitter but no this has also been tested from iOS 16 to iOS 16 and oftentimes I get this message for whatever reason in the audio extension inside of the messages application. Other than that, everything else Apple has added to the messages is working just fine. So editing text, undoing and mark as unread is also working as intended. So only one thing so far wrong within messages, which is a good thing for being beta one. Now I want to shift my attention over to the lock screen. Now the lock screen is one of the biggest updates to iOS right now. iOS 16 has the biggest improvements here. And if we take a look at the lock screen here, sometimes when I go to add a new wallpaper or add a new category here, sometimes the actual lock screen will freeze on me. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it would freeze and things would just not populate properly on the lock screen, especially within the wallpapers. Now I've also noticed some notifications overlapping with the lock screen as well so take a look at this screenshot here take a look at the bottom there you see that notification is overlapping the notification center text and it's also overlapping the flash and the camera icon there again this is something to be expected so, uh, new notifications coming from the bottom Apple will most likely be addressing a lot of this situation or a lot of these bugs within the next update now I want to shift my attention over into Apple music because this is the section the category where I've have been having the most issues. Now, when I first updated to iOS 16, Apple Music was working just fine. However, when I try playing Apple Music via AirPlay to an external speaker here in my home, the app will freeze. Now, if I try to also look at some of the uh, actual lyrics here, it would freeze as well and it would crash constantly on my iPhone. So playing Apple Music through a third party speaker or an external speaker via Bluetooth and AirPlay would cause Apple Music to constantly crash. Every aspect of the software within Apple Music will crash when playing music to an external speaker. So that's something to keep note of. And I had to actually go ahead and use an iOS 15 device to actually listen to music on an external speaker because I was having so much issues this past weekend using iOS 16 and Apple Music on the latest beta. Now let's talk about AirDrop and AirPlay. So with AirDrop and AirPlay, I continue to encounter delays and lag. So when I go to AirDrop something to another user around the house, it takes forever. Forever. If I'm sending an image or a video to my Mac, this takes forever. So there's definitely a delay within AirPlay and AirDrop in iOS 16. Hopefully within future betas, Apple will address this situation. Now, last but not least, and I wanted to talk about this, and this is the last thing I want to talk about from my personal experience, the battery. Now, of course, I never like to judge the battery on beta software because, of course, it is beta software, and we know that the battery will most likely take an impact. And that's definitely the case with iOS 16. 16. If battery is important to you, stay away from this beta because the battery does drain rather quickly. My experience has not been good at all, especially standby time. I will leave my iPhone overnight if I didn't want to charge it. Let's say I will leave it at 80. I come back in the morning and be down to 60, even 50. It's kind of crazy to see that the standby time, especially on iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is a big device, big battery here, it still isn't getting me through the entire day. I've noticed that standby times is also horrible within battery. So battery definitely taking an 
an impact here within iOS 16. So now let's shift over into the YouTube community poll where you guys also provide some feedback. So the question obviously is, how is iOS 16 developer beta one working for you? We have approximately 5,100 votes so far within a day of you guys voting. We have a 15% of you guys who are having a great experience. 23% of you guys say it's okay, but some bugs. 8% of you guys say it's very buggy and a whopping 54% of you guys are simply not running the beta. Now, for some reason, the comments on YouTube community posts are not loading as of right now, but I can say that most of the comments refer to the battery. Most issues many users have experienced is battery drainage issues. Yes, there's some bugs as you can see from these numbers, but the main concern here is battery. So we'll have to wait and see what Apple will continue to do and improve within iOS 16. Of course, we can expect the next beta within the next week or two. We'll have to wait and see what Apple will do with the schedule here of course stay tuned here to the channel we'll continue to cover the bugs additional new features and changes and of course the next betas until the official final release i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace